I love being here, but if I was not here, where would I go? I don't know, maybe to he, like Chef Massimo Capra, who just came out. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. one here. This is incredible. And so, so many of us have these dreams of vacation, and it, and it usually, you know, looks something like a yeah, beautiful hut, and it's on the water, and you right. see gorgeous scenery. Well, take a look at where he just was. We've got pictures from this beautiful vacation, and that's where you stayed. This is Rosa. my room, actually, and uh, we caught oh. the tail end of a little mini cyclone. <laughs> yeah, so we had three days of rain and wind and beautiful, beautiful storms and all that, which yeah. is exactly what you want. You don't want always sunshine. You no. can always get the sunshine. You gotta but, mix it you know, up a little bit so oh that my you can God, be appreciative. Oh my God, that was gorgeous, you know, and going snorkeling yeah. with the rain coming down so hot and, and, and plentiful. Yeah. It was just wonderful. Yeah. I just think it looks like, yeah. um, you know, a dream, it looks like a dream <laughs> vacation. So it was. what you did is you were inspired, um, as always, by the local cuisine and has yeah. Yes. Brought us a couple of recipes uh, that that was, were inspired by your trip. Absolutely. So a mahi mahi with coconut and pineapple salsa. Right. And and uh, as amazing. it is, I said mahi mahi because you know I'm in my Tahiti mindset. Uh, I only been back a week and a half yeah. when I made the recipe, but uh, no mahi mahi on the market, so I used uh, a sea bass. And, oh, that's uh, good. And, and this is a grouper, sorry, but sea bass grouper, mahi mahi, um, uh, uh, what do you call it, halibut, perfectly fine. Yeah. So that let me get that because somebody's going to look at that and say that's not that mahi mahi. That is not mahi mahi. That is not mahi mahi. Our, but, our viewers know. <laughs> Tahiti, but that's okay. That's even more accessible. So that right, means you can go out and get any of the fishes he much mentioned. Easier. Exactly. And it'll work. So Tahiti is famous for vanilla. Okay. And I didn't they know end that. up using vanilla in many preparations with shrimp, with mahi mahi, with scallops, with uh, crustaceans of any kind. Okay. And I find that that was quite good, but it's always smelled that. That is delicious, isn't it? Oh, you know, that's good. Tahitian vanilla, unbelievable stuff. Sorry about the noise. Um, and uh, we went to see uh, Vanilla Farms. We did all of that work. Oh, Ava. you did, huh? Yeah, we did all of that uh, information uh, okay. tour. Well, so, because you're a chef, you never just go somewhere and just chill out on a no, beach. I never like, do. you go and you cook. You either do Absolutely. classes or you learn, um, which I do. is really nice because you bring all that good stuff back to us. So, exactly. And, uh, and believe me, I eat a lot of food and a lot of fish because mm. the, the, the national dish is the poisson cru, mm -hmm. which is French Polynesia, so it's raw fish. Mm -hmm. And is that with coconut milk. So coconut milk, pineapple, vanilla, those are the spices of the area. Okay. You know, taro root and all of the breadfruit and jackfruit and all of that, plentiful. Okay. And, and lots of it everywhere in every, every recipe, nice. which is quite fantastic. But in this case, we're using a, a beautiful grouper. So we need to season it up a little bit. Okay. Just a ve very simple. This is a beautiful, simple, simple recipe. Mm -hmm. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, just like that. And we skin side down, and I cut the skin a little bit, right? Yeah. I put little slits in between the skin so that it will not curl up. Oh, and, I which see. Which is good, yeah. Um, now, we sear it, and then all we need is coconut milk. Yeah. We need a little piece of vanilla. I found that in many restaurants, the, the, the use of vanilla is really different, and it varies. I mean, some chefs like really, really sweet. Okay. I don't really care for extremely sweet. So I say, yeah, do it because it's a novelty and yeah. it's an interesting thing to do, but uh, be gentle with the vanilla. You don't need to use a heck of a lot. It really okay? depends. I mean, exactly. sometimes when you get you get a fish dish and it's super sweet or a meat dish yeah. and it's super sweet, it can turn you off a little bit. And it depends on what you're into. And this one here, you have the pineapple, so you have to make you a pineapple a lot, sauce, yeah. right? So let me wipe down this. Uh, coconut milk, full fat. Of coconut. course. This is the cream coconut. Yeah, don't 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 go skimp on the coconut yeah, please, milk. Please, it's never, actually isn't it good never. for you? This is almost a solid. <laughs> <laughs> Does this actually pour? <laughs> That's it. That's it. So, okay. Now what do we do? <clears throat> a little bit of shallots. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. A little bit of shallots. The, the vanilla to extract the flavor from it. Yeah. And now we are putting in our flavor. So we are uh, searing the fish. We are flipping it. <clears throat> you tell me the right time yep. when this is going to rest for a while so we can look at more of your pictures. Absolutely. Because well, you, you brought back some, is now a good time? Uh, now is a good time. I'm adding, um, yeah, let's, let's talk about this first. Yeah. Uh, wine, mm -hmm. white wine. And I then can smell I it. like a little bit of vinegar. In this case, I'm not putting it because I know that here there is somebody with an allergy. I'm mm -hmm. not going to put vinegar. But In real uh, life, do it. In real life, do put vinegar in it because that will attenuate the, 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 the taste of uh, the, the vanilla and also the coconut because very sweet okay. now look see at is that. it even going to come oh. out oh it is it is 
you know, it's going to come That's out when good it's stuff. ready. Yeah. I mean, a lot of these, a lot of these ingredients are very West oh, Indian, boy. like the coconut milk, exactly. the jackfruit, all of the. I guess the difference is come there's on. a major emphasis on fruit. <laughs> yes, there is, and and naturally in Tahiti. In all of the Polynesian islands, mm -hmm. uh, what you have is uh, coconut, you have pineapple, yeah. you have all of those fruits, and then the, everything else was brought over by the um, um, colonizers, basically, right. and, uh, you know, from the Caribbean. So, so look at all of that fruit exactly. that you saw at the markets there. The other thing that you saw a lot of, and you mentioned this, are the boats out there fishing. Yes, so everything is yeah. fresh. Um, fish is a main staple of the oh diet. You can see the fishing boats out there. Um, and then this dish, which I think looks amazing, Look it's a fish in, um, is that in a banana leaf? Or? <laughs> yeah, that's a, no, th that is all fish grilled and uh, in a banana leaf and yeah. then after with all of the, uh, with all of the, um, the fruits, and uh, fruits and vegetables and uh, lots of peppers and things like that. Gorgeous. But I'm making a quick salsa with uh, pineapple, right? So yeah. I dice pineapple. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm putting a little bit of onions, actually a little bit, a lot of onions. Put a lot mm -hmm. of onions. Why put a little bit of onions? Chili peppers. Yeah. Uh, absolutely. A little bit of cilantro. And we just break it up, make it nice and, uh, you know, with your hands so that you get all the oils out very easily. Yeah. You know, just like that. I love cilantro. Um, Look at how fresh hot. that is, though. It absolutely. doesn't need much. No. Absolutely Lime. nothing. Lime and lemon, mm -hmm. uh, because we don't get the green lemon over here, right? So I think the lemon and lime together really work very mm -hmm. well. Uh, that's perfectly fine. A little bit of lemon, just like And look so. at your fish is doing well over oh, there. Oh, the fish is doing amazing. It's going to be cooked in no time. And we're going to put a little bit of oil, because I like to Italianize a little bit of everything. <laughs> <laughs> Always now, with the olive oil. Well, now, you got to put your spin okay, on it. We have to add a little bit more coconut milk. Uh, okay. Oh my God, it's coming out, it's coming out, it's coming out. You just need a yeah. knife there you go. and a spoon. Yeah, you need a knife and a spoon, but just, no, this is perfect. Okay. okay. So this is ready, okay. Very, very simple, right? I mean, it's a beautiful little pineapple salsa. Now, in Tahiti, they will put that inside the fish. Okay. And then give it to you all like that. But I want to serve the fish with rice and beans. Oh, okay? nice. And, and you'll find that. Now, I have black rice, yeah. so I'm using white beans. That looks beautiful. Yeah, isn't it nice? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there you go. Now we go for our presentation. Let's and plate her simply, up. Let's Look at you off. have mustaches oh, yeah. on your plates. I Where do, did you I find do. those, Massimo? I don't know. Somebody gave Weird. it to me. Weird. Somebody gave it to me. <laughs> <laughs> They're perfect. So this is just black rice steamed. I have a little bit of bay leaf. I have a little bit of a, um, what do you call it, ginger in it. Okay. And I'm taking my fish. Okay, just like so. I'm placing it right mm. on. I have, oh, okay. The I need sauce. a little bit more, uh, a little bit more coconut milk. Please, dog. Okay, <laughs> now is, you know why? Because it's cold. I had it in the fridge, right? So, yeah. not a problem, but. So it's used just to Tahiti temperatures. Over it. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Oh, gorgeous. Put the sauce over it, and then we have our salsa, right? So put the salsa on there. Um, this is a recipe that looks super fancy, oh, yeah. but you know what? It's no. actually, you created the whole thing from scratch, how, except how for the rice and the, and, the, and the beans. Wow, so the rice and, you that's have a okay. steamer, right? Yeah, you have a think about cooker? doing that on a weeknight. Oh that is so fresh and that. beautiful. Cityline.tv for that recipe. Give it up for Massimo. That's really nice.